Good morning from Weeper. <laughs> Kaylee's onto the first fish. Donker. All right, well, the sunsets here at Weeper are absolutely to die for. Well, we left Weeper. We are on our way now to Archer River. Well, we are a little stuck at the present. Have a look at that. Is this one of Queensland's best free camps? I think it is. I'm going to put the drone up now and show you what it looks like from the air. Well, g'day, good morning, and welcome to another episode. Today's our last day up here at the very top of Australia. We are gonna be making our way south. The next location is Weeper, and I'm pretty damn excited to get into Weeper. Weeper's a place that I wanted to visit since I was a little boy. The fishing out of Weeper is supposed to be amazing, and I am super keen to get in and have a go at fishing out of Weeper. Good morning from Weeper. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna kind of fulfill a bit of a childhood dream of mine and go fishing in Weeper. The neighbors offered to take us out in this boat, so we're gonna take the kids out. We're gonna go and explore up a creek and see if we can't get the kids onto a few fish. You can tell mum's excited we're going fishing. I think this place is blacked out. Are you gonna have a nice sleep while we're going, Mel? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to sleep and relaxing day. All right, this is neighbor Jeff's setup. He's got the truck with the, with the jack off camper and a big boat. And here's two very excited kids. What are we doing today, Kaylee? We are doing the get to come and ride in the boat. And we're gonna go fishing, right? Yeah, I wonder if you excited, Owen? Yes. High, five, high five the camera. Paired up a few crab pots. Uh -oh. Who's gonna go first? Me! Alright, you ready mate? You can throw that in when you're ready. And go. three. There it goes. You think over in there, Kaylee? Yeah! Up that little channel y thing. One, two, three. Kaylee's lined up for the first fish, is that right? Uh-huh. What are you gonna do to catch a fish? Yes. Talk us through your technique. No. 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 You don't want to tell the folks at home how to catch fish? No. Kaylee's onto the first fish. It might still be there, I don't know. I don't think it's still there. Looks like it's still there. Pump and wine, hey Kaylee. Do that again if you try. Stop there. Get a tail in. Trevally, I got a trevally. Oh, Kaylee. There you go. Ready? Yeah. There he goes. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Captain Owen down here. How you going mate? You driving the boat? Yeah. You keeping us on target? Is it big Owen? Yep. 
really big? Yeah. It's a little cod. Owen got a cod. You can just lift him up, okay, Owen? Wait, send, send that one back. Can I see? Thank you, guys. It's a bike. We are onto a baggie this year. Yeah. That is a Look at that for a beautiful fish. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, Daddy, don't let it get away. He's such a beautiful Wow, boy. guys. <laughs> no. Diamond Trip Valley. Yeah. Get a good look at him with the GoPro. Uh huh. It's a front view, skinny little fish, isn't he? Yeah. And then this beautiful. Yeah. Look at his face. Okay, will we send him back? Yeah. Let's watch him. Is that like healthy? One, two. Three. Oh, away he goes. All right, so the kids desperately want to go and explore the shanty, don't you kids? Yeah! Oh, shanty! Don't go near the water's edge, mate, okay? Number 11, Random Creek Road, Weeper. We're going out to check out the beach. The beach from the shanty? Yep. Shanty's just back there. Yep. What a great little place to have a shanty. Uh -huh. I'd totally come out and spend days hanging out here. Oh wow, this might hop off it. That might be a turtle nest you're standing on. <laughs> Although, it looks like maybe they've hatched if you found all the shells. Yeah. How cool is that? Do you want to take the turtle shell back? Yeah, show mummy. Show mummy and tell her we found some turtle nests. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Ooh, he's going to go into the house. <laughs> A good amount of bait. What do we got? Those. Got heaps. Let's go fishing. Mm -hmm. First bait fish. Uh -huh. What is it, Owen? Oh, it's a hot star. Okay, bring it up. Oh, are you going to lift it all the way up? Oh, lift it over to me so I can lift it over to me. Oh. Oh, that's a good release. Owen, you're not going to get it. Oh, oh, All right, well, the sunsets here at Weeper are absolutely to die for, so we're all going to head down and watch the sunset. Yeah. Probably put the drone up and get the drone up and drone the sunset. And then, special treat, we're going to Barra Munchies. Can you walk on your hand? Show me. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's yeah. not how you do a real handstand. Okay, can, can you show us how to do a real handstand? Look at Owen. <laughs> oh, come on. I couldn't get going. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a competition who could stay out there the longest, I won.
What are you having from Barra Munchies? I think I'm going to get the corrugation steak burger. Just, just top off our corrugation trip. <laughs> We have had a gutful of corrugations and you're going to get another gutful of corrugations. <laughs> Darling? I will have the coconut chilli prawns. Ooh, sounds good. And chips. Oh, doesn't that look good? Oh, look, there's a tax. It's a mum tax? Yep. yep. Yummy, yummy. This right tastes like chocolate. I want to make one of Kind of looks like the kids, but bigger. I was going to say, it looks... What about yours? Oh, that's so, massive! That's my uh, chili coconut prawns. No, it turns out they didn't have chili coconut prawns available, so I went with the salt and pepper calamari. Can you do a reaction bite, Kaylee? Uh, oh, it's so big! That's good. I'm happy. Wow, look at the size of that bundy. You can get that in your mouth around it. Mmm. Pretty tasty. We have had what has been the scariest thing that's happened to us since our travels in Cape York happen on our trip back from Punsan Bay down here into Weeper. On the corrugations between Fruit Bat and uh, Bramwell Station, something has come loose on the battery system. Uh, come in here, I'll show you what happened. This little unit here, this BC300, has unscrewed, this bolt here has unscrewed and come completely use and this has just been flapping around. And from what I, I don't know a lot about this, but from what I understand, this communicates to the battery charger and tells the battery charger what's going on in the batteries. So we arrived at Bramwell Station to our fridge being completely warm, being, the batteries being completely drained, and there wasn't anything we can do. Uh, there was no power at Bramwell Station, so we had to empty out our fridge and discard everything that we had, uh, and just wait until we've come here into Weeper. And we've come into Weeper and plugged into 240, but the batteries won't charge. So. I've done some troubleshooting trying to figure out what's going on and what I think has happened is these batteries have been drained down to a level where they've just shut off to protect themselves and they need to be revived. Uh, I've tried a few methods to revive them here, I've plugged them into the car and started them on the car and things like that but it, nothing seems to have worked and they just won't take charge so I'm about to rip these batteries out and head into the auto electrician in town here in Weeper and see if they can possibly do something about the situation. Maybe they can revive them and charge them up for me, or at least tell me if they're cooked. Either way, we might at least know what's going on. So that's what we're up to now. Uh, I am starting to wonder whether it was worth it taking the van up to the top. Mel's having a shower and she has found another thing. Do you want to show us what you found now, Mel? Hey, I'm in the shower. They're not going to see your bits. The fan has come loose from the fitting. It's pack up day today. We are leaving Weeper tomorrow morning. Got a few jobs that we need to get done today. One of which, if you remember our battery issues, and nobody here in Weeper has been able to help me. So I have two very, very heavy paperweights that I have to deal with for our travels home. But um, as a workaround, so that we're still going to have power for powering our fridge and things like that while we're traveling, what I'm going to do is take out one of the uh, batteries out of the car system and put that in the van. So that'll leave us with 125 amp hours power in the car and 125 amp hours for the fridge in the van. So we'll just have to be power savvy for the rest of our time until we get back into cans and hopefully get these batteries sorted. All right, well, I've taken the car battery out of the car and put it into the van. So we've now got 125 amp hours in the van to get us through the next couple of days of off-grid. A few other jobs I need to get done today. Okay. 
So another one of the jobs that I want to do, particularly seeing as we're only running on the one battery, is I'm going to get up on the roof and give the solar panels a clean so hopefully we get a bit more solar in whilst we're off grid. It's funny, I had this idea when I was getting ready to do these travels that uh, this would be Kaylee's job, seeing as she's lighter and wouldn't likely damage anything while she was up here, but here I am doing it myself. That's what the pre-filter is looking like. So I think I might change that as well. <laughs> Bit better. We are going to have access to a supermarket for the next two and a half weeks. One of the problems in a caravan is you don't have a lot of fridge and freezer space. So what I'm going to do is vac seal up a lot of chicken that I've purchased and then we got to find somewhere to hide them in our small fridge and freezer storage area. And now it's over to Mel to try and find somewhere to store it all. Where's it gonna go, dear? Um, wherever I can shove it. <laughs> Honestly, we just have no space. All right, so we have taken our fridge door security up to another level. I put in a couple little eyelets there. One down the bottom, and then the fridge stand happened to have a nice, strong, sturdy hook as well. So now, hopefully, with this Oki strap holding the fridge door on and the taping, with any luck, the fridge door will stay on, and we'll we'll manage to save the six hundred dollars worth of food we've got in there. <laughs> well, we left Weeper. We are on our way now to Archer River. Just pulled over on the side of the road. We're going to grab a bit of firewood so we can have a fire while we're at Archer River. Okay, so the plan now is to make our way down to Archer River for a night. I did manage to go out for a solo fish while we were staying at Weeper, an absolutely cracking session. I don't really want to make this video series all about fishing, so I'll just put some highlights on now while we're traveling up to Archer River. And if you'd like to see the whole video, there'll be a link in the description below. The dirty old long tom. These are a nasty fish. They will try and bite you if they can. Here we go, that is another new species here in Weeper. It's a cracker. Yes! <laughs> here we go, that is a diamond trevally. What a beautiful fish. What a session. Been going for about 20 minutes now, four different species. How good is Weeper? Come on. Oh, yes, baby! <laughs> wow. What a stonker. You probably can't see it from that close. What an amazing piece of fish. Well, we are a little stuck at the present. 
we got ourselves proper stuck <laughs> here at the Archer River free camp area. I have lowered all the tyre pressures, we've put some max traps under four of the tyres. We'll give it a shot getting out on our own, but I kind of suspect this is, isn't going to work. Front one is? That's on a max track. The back one's on a max track too. Just the front one. Well, how is this for a ripper spot to camp? It's the Archer River. And aside from a few little dramas getting in here, how, you were quite calm and collected. How do you think, what do you think about that? Getting stuck? Yes. Oh, I just feel like caravan is such hard work. Like we put a hole in it, we've got no power. Like just what else can happen? Let's just get it stuck. And, right you, get, and you get stuck. But uh, I mean, I don't know if I would have got out to be honest on my own, but luckily a nice big 79 series came along and uh, gave me a hand and snatched me out. So now we're back up here on the harder stuff. And that is the outlook for the evening. Fire and beers tonight. I've got some beautiful ribs I'm gonna cook up. Come over and have a look at what we got stuck in and it kind of makes sense. Stupid light, I should have turned here. This is what we went through. This is what we got stuck in. That is where I should have turned. Here. And I would have been sweet as, I think. Oh well, I've got some learning to do. So we're gonna have a fire tonight. I've got some beautiful marinated pork ribs that I wanna cook over the fire on the grill. So I'm gonna use a technique that I saw on a BCF advert. What I need is a can, a pair of scissors, and then I'm gonna take some revenge on that boggy sand and use a bit of sand. Scissors. Now we're going to take our can and we are going to go over and exact revenge on my bog hole. We'll make it worse, one of the two. <coughs> can of bog hole sand. Right, a little bit of accelerant. I'm gonna fill this up with some fuel. All right, we got a good way to start a fire now. Place our little candle in the center here. All right, we will get this started with the lighter. And all our pre-prepared sticks and everything can go on should burn for quite some time. That is a very easy way to start a fire. I like it. So what are we doing guys? We're exploring up Archer River. Oh, all of a sudden the flow has stopped, I can walk up. Why would you do that? <laughs> Right, so Mel's idea was that we would walk up here and float down. How's the floating down going, dear? Well, it's a bit short. Not very good. I'm kind of 
I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm floating nowhere. <laughs> Have a look at that. Is this one of Queensland's best free camps? I think it is. I'm gonna put the drone up now and show you what it looks like from the air. Pretty excited for dinner tonight. I'm gonna have a few veg. Just gonna parboil some potatoes. I'm gonna cook some corn and their husks on the fire. And I've been marinating some pork ribs in some Texan barbecue sauce, and that's gonna get cooked on the fire as well. I'm gonna use the Dutch fire pit. It's just gonna be mint. I'm super excited. And this is the view. back the husks on these corns and take out all the stringy bits and then slab them, lather them up with butter put the husks back over it wrap them in a bit of foil and then that's going to go on the fire hello everyone see in our lovely caravan we have solar string lights in use and outside because we have limited power because we're down a couple of batteries doing our best to conserve batteries, so we're using some solar. We're using solar some, lights, some solar lights. We use normally, but now we've got them strung up inside. Mmm, I can't wait to get into this. Now we're cooking. <laughs> Thanks, Kaylee. <laughs> Master Chef. <laughs> Daddy should go and Master Chef. <laughs> Daddy wants to go on Survivor. I have oh. my choice and what I went on. Yeah, I think Master Chef might be too advanced for you. I don't think I'm quite a Master Chef. I'm a survivor though. Yeah. All right, let's open the corn up. Well, doesn't that look pretty good? That's going to be a good fire. Feel free to give us a wave, guys. As, as they say, if you build it, they shall come. <laughs> So this is Artemis Station. Are you holding a duck? I am holding a duck. Do I give the good pets? So these little guys are supposed to be only a month old. They're so cute. So we're at the Han River Roadhouse. I'm just going to pop something out of place here and then I'm going to leave the camera behind and see if we don't get a look at the bird. You know what these guys are called? What? called striped rocket frogs. Good. If you put your finger near him, I think we might see why they call him a rocket frog. I thought I'd take the kids for a camp in Rinneroo or Lakefield National Park. Shall we see if we can get this fire started, kids? Yeah, it will be and 
fresh or flammable. Uh, well, the sun is setting and I would love to put the drone up and give you guys a bird's eye view of where we're camping tonight. But we are experiencing technical difficulties yet again. Perhaps it's a uh, another victim of the corrugation spirit. Well, I'm not the only one to do it. <laughs> Someone else has got stuck in here as well. <laughs> 